So I was messing around with some new tools the other day and it hit me. Man, making games in 2025 is so different from even just a couple years ago. The idea of AI isn't just hype anymore, it's actually helping us make better games, faster. I mean, think about it. Not too long ago, AI felt like something out of sci-fi movies or tech blogs, but now? It's everywhere. Your phone uses it to edit photos, Spotify recommends songs with it, Google Maps routes you around traffic using it, hell, even fast food places are using AI to suggest what you should order next. It's become this invisible force that's quietly changing the way we live and work. And game development is no exception. What used to take days, concept art, voice acting, environment design is now being done in minutes. And honestly, if you're still doing things the same way you did two years ago, you might be missing out on some seriously powerful tools. And one of the biggest areas where AI is stepping in? Coding. Which, let's be real, for a lot of us, especially solo devs or people just getting started, is the biggest hurdle. Now imagine typing a description like, player jumps when spacebar is pressed, and having an AI generate full C++ code or blueprint graphs from that. Unreal Engine is already experimenting with an AI agent plugin that does exactly that. Tools like GitHub Copilot have been helping devs write code faster for a while, but now AI is starting to understand context, logic, and even fix bugs automatically. And then there's stuff like Google AI Studio, which can look at your screen and tell you what you're doing wrong. Basically like having a senior dev sitting next to you, pointing stuff out in real time. So yeah, AI isn't just helping with art or animation anymore, it's diving headfirst into the code too. And honestly, it's flipping the whole game dev process upside down. Alright, let's jump into the top AI tools right now that are either replacing old workflows entirely, or just straight up saving devs so much time. First up, Image Generation. You've probably heard of Midjourney or DAL-E by now. But if you're still sketching ideas out by hand, or using generic assets to mock things up, you're working way harder than you need to. I am talking about solo devs that have no time to master all the pipeline, especially if they are starting out on this industry. These tools let you type stuff like Cyberpunk City with floating platforms and glowing trees and boom, there's your concept art. Done! I personally use Leonardo more than Midjourney because it's built specifically for game dev. They have models trained on armor, weapons and environments, super easy to generate stuff that fits directly into your game engine. Before this, you'd spend hours trying to visualize scenes or wait on artists. Now you can throw together ideas in seconds and tweak from there. Huge win! And let's not forget about texture generation. Now you can quickly create textures for your 3D models that are perfectly tailored to your specific needs. You can then use applications like Materialize to generate normal maps, metallic and roughness maps, and even height maps. Now I'm aware of the debate on AI versus artists. One side claims that AI lacks emotion and imagination, that it merely copies other artists' styles and merges them into something new. Others argue that AI should have strong copyright protections. I fall somewhere in the middle, believing that AI is simply another tool at an artist's disposal. It can serve as a starting point for most or inspiration for others. You can still infuse your artistic vision into it. There are many AI agents that allow you to edit pictures after generation, adding or removing elements, tweaking character poses, adding details to armor, swapping color palettes, and so on. I strongly believe these tools should be part of your pipeline. Next, we got a surprising one. These are AI tools that help with animation and cinematic effects. Yeah, I know, animating has always been a pain, especially if you're flying solo. AI-driven tools like MoveAI and PlaskAI offer market-less motion capture allowing users to create animation from video or even live performances. 
They're not replacing AAA Studios or Unreal Sequencer, but they're seriously useful for prototypes, trailers, or even NPC animations. We also have programs like Cascadeur that uses AI combined with physics to deliver more realistic movement. It can also adjust the center of mass of the characters. It also helps with landings, attacking animation, or anything that makes the animation feel cheap. You can just bring your existing character with or without rig, and these programs will generate controls to help you reduce the time you spend moving your character around. The auto-posing feature is unlike anything on the market, and with the plugins for Unreal Engine and Blender, you can easily optimize your pipeline. Back in the day, you had to animate manually or license pre-made animations. Now, generate variations fast, tweak in-engine, and move on. This is a huge time saver. Moving on, have you ever tried recording your own voice lines? Or hiring someone and waiting forever? Me too. And it is time consuming, and if you can't afford a good sound equipment, well, it can suck. Or what if your voice is not cut for it? Maybe you need a women voice. Now? Tools like Eleven Labs and Resemble AI let you generate realistic voices with emotion, accents, even dynamic changes, all from text. Want a gritty war hero voice? Done. Cute anime sidekick? Also done. But what about the quality? Well, let me tell you that it's getting scary good. I think in a few years time, we will no longer be able to tell the difference. Used to be. Record sessions, edit, loop, sync with animations, rinse and repeat. <sighs> if you are not a voice actor, this could take several tries until you deliver something decent. Not quite Oscar level yet, but for background NPCs, tutorials, or even main characters in smaller games, this is gold. A lot of indie developers will be glad that such an amazing tool exists. It might reduce the amount of time and money that you spend into this task dramatically. Alright, here's where things start to feel like magic. Generating full 3D scenes from just text or using smart procedural tools to build complex environments in seconds. First up, Promethean AI. It can build full scenes for you in Unreal Engine or Unity. It drops in buildings, props, lights, even basic materials, all generated from your words. Something like this would take months to make, not to mention the amount of skill necessary to pull it off correctly. Then there's Houdini Engine, which has been leveling up hard by adding AI-powered features into its workflow. You've probably heard of Houdini before, it's this super powerful procedural tool used in AAA games and VFX. But now, with AI integrations, it's getting even more insane. Imagine being able to generate entire forests, cities, or cave systems just by tweaking a few sliders. No modeling required. AI-powered nodes inside Houdini can now analyze real-world data or concept art and generate terrain, rock formations, or even modular building setups automatically. If you are building open worlds or puzzle rooms, this cuts down development time substantially. Now let's talk about 3D asset creation. Hunyuan 3D, Meshi, Sparse 3D, and YVO 3D are changing the way we think about the 3D creation. These tools are so powerful that you can generate characters in seconds, many of which have decent topology and even high resolution textures. Well, if you are willing to pay the price, that is. Traditional 3D creation is one of the most time-consuming parts of game development. Obviously, there are people who enjoy the entire process, but not everyone is a character creation expert, especially if you're a small team trying to meet a deadline set by a publisher. These tools are definitely aimed at people who have plenty of ideas, but lack the resources or skills to bring them to life. The next category is coding, and oh boy, this has to be one of the most important aspects when it comes to game creation. It's the code that makes the game possible, and without the right knowledge or experience, coding can quickly become a nightmare. Tools like GitHub Copilot have been around for a bit, helping devs auto-complete lines of code, 
but now we're seeing stuff like Unreal Engine's new AI agent plugin, which can generate full blueprint graphs or even C++ scripts based on natural language prompts. Want a function that checks for enemy health and triggers a death animation? Just type it in and the AI writes it for you. Then there's Google AI Studio, which can literally look at your screen, see what you're working on and guide you through fixing bugs or optimizing performance, like having a senior dev watching over your shoulder. You can even use these coding tools to learn how to code yourself. You can ask the AI agent to teach you, which is actually awesome. You can ask in-depth questions about specific parts of the code and the best part is that the AI never sleeps. So you can ask as much as you need anytime you want. So whether you're a beginner struggling to get started or a pro trying to speed up iteration, AI is becoming a legit part of the coding pipeline now. This is not meant to replace coders, it's simply a great tool at your disposal. Last but certainly not least are AI-driven NPCs. With tools like InWorld AI, you can create characters that have memory, emotional responses and the ability to engage in real conversations. We saw this implemented successfully in the Matrix demo for Unreal Engine 5, where you can use your microphone to interact with NPCs on the streets. These conversations can be uncanny. Some characters even begin to show signs of self-awareness. They have memory, but the most surprising part is how fluent and natural the dialogue can become. This is something that games like Cyberpunk 2077 or the upcoming GT6 could benefit from greatly. It's early days for this tool, but games like AI Dungeon and some indie experiments are already using this, and the future looks wild. So yeah, AI isn't just for chatbots anymore. These tools are literally rewriting how we make games, faster, cheaper, and sometimes better than before. This will most likely change how we design quests, companions, even enemies. It can even give birth to a new genre. Are they perfect? Absolutely not. This AI agent still make mistakes. But they're evolving fast and ignoring them means falling behind. Now I want to stress that there are many AI tools I didn't mention. New models are emerging every week and that's not even counting the numerous open source options that run locally. The open source nature of many of these tools means that the community could create literally unlimited variations of a single model. And finally, I also want to emphasize that AI is not meant to replace 3D artists. You still need to develop and master many skills if you want to be part of the industry. An experienced 3D artist will consistently produce higher quality results than any AI currently can. At its best, AI serves as a powerful tool to enhance human talent, not replace it. If you're a solo dev or part of a small team, start playing with these tools. You'll save time, look more professional, and maybe even unlock ideas you wouldn't have thought of otherwise. Let me know in the comments, which tool surprised you the most? And what would you try first? Thanks for watching. Smash that like button if you found this helpful and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next one.